Greetings, knitters. This is Kristen Tendike, the designer of the Germania hoodie, and I'm here today to tell you all about how this amazing sweater is constructed. This sweater begins at the top of the hood. This section here is worked first, and then stitches are picked up along the side, worked for the live stitches, and picked up. And the top of the hood is shaped with some decreases and short rows down to the neck edge. There's also an alternative set of instructions for if you don't want to work the hood. At the base of the hood, the shoulder stitches are cast on in here. And then the front and back are worked for a little bit little ways. When the front and the back shoulders are worked just about that much, then some stitches are picked up for the sleeve cap along the selvage edges of the front and the back. At that point, the yoke is worked, so the front the sleeve and the back are all worked simultaneously from the shoulder down to the underarm. There are some increases worked for the cap and then at some point increases begin for the body as well. At the bottom of the yoke the sleeve stitches are placed on hold. Some stitches are cast on for the underarm and then the front and the back are joined and the body is worked from the underarm down to the hem. To make the pockets, there is a piece of waste yarn knit into the, the body along here. And the waste yarn just stays there until the body is done. And then you unravel the waist yarn and there's live stitches both on the top and the bottom of where the waist yarn was. And you can create the pocket opening that way. There's an oak leaf fair isle pattern worked at the bottom. Once the body is done, the sleeve stitches are returned to some double pointed needle or whichever kind of needles you like to use for small circumference knitting and the sleeve is worked from the underarm down to the cuff. And there are some acorns worked on the sleeve cuff. The front button band is worked in ribbing with a single contrast colored garter ridge to mimic what happens on the bottoms of the rib, hem, and cuff. This is a completely seamless sweater and it is available now on kristentendike.com. It's created using Rowan's felted tweed yarn if you like knitting sweaters and you want to learn more about seamless sweater construction, follow my YouTube channel by subscribing, hit like on this video, and I will see you next time. Happy crafting!